Welcome back to Yellowfin University. Today's lesson is all about productionizing data science. So as many of you know, data science is a very hot topic at the moment and it has some fantastic capabilities that actually go beyond the scope of a standard BI tool. So rather than obviously trying to create data science algorithms within Yellowfin, it's actually much more efficient for you to be able to utilize the existing technologies that are out there. Now there are lots of technologies out there You've got R, Python, H2O, so many more. So basically what I'm gonna show you now is walk you through just the general steps on how to install these uh, and utilize them within Yellowfin. We're only gonna cover off one example to show you today, which is the H2O, but pretty much the same process is applied to any of the other plugins out there. So first of all, I guess the very first thing you need to do is actually make sure you download the plugin from the marketplace. If you don't know already, you can head to our website uh, and go to the marketplace at the top here and it will bring you to a whole heap of things, additional things that you can download from and plug into Yellowfin. These are all generally free and you just need to be a paying customer to have access to them. You can see a couple ones here, PMML as well as H2O, R, Python and all that are also around in there as well. Once you have that download, you then install it via the plugin management within Yellowfin, and then that's pretty much it. You are ready to utilize these algorithms that you've written. So there's two different ways that you can access the data science plugins. Generally, through the, in the report builder, you can create an advanced function and choose your algorithm or your model, I should say, uh, or also in the data transformation step, which you'll actually have a look at in a different uh, in the data administration course you will um, also be able to then use data transformations and add these plugins to those to add even further value to your data. So I'm actually gonna hand you over to my colleague Ivan now, and Ivan's gonna walk you through how to do the, from the beginning to the end of a H2O algorithm within a report. All right, over to you, Ivan. Today we'll show you one of the ways that Yellowfin 7.4 will enable data science across the enterprise. And one of these ways is H2O AI support. If you don't know what H2O AI is, H2O AI is one of the largest open source platforms for AI and deep learning. They currently claim about 30% of Fortune 500 companies who use this platform and around 10,000 companies with over 100,000 data scientists using at any single point. They offer some really strong models around data science, including machine learning from sparkling water to GPU enabled deep learning called deep water. And today we're gonna to show you how Yellowfin 7.4 has an open framework that taps into these external data science capabilities. If you wanna download H2O AI and get it set up, you can simply go to the download page and click on the latest stable release. The instructions on how to install H2O AI are very simple in three easy steps. You just have to download the file, unzip it, and then run it from your terminal as a Java application. Do note you can run H2O AI either, either locally, either locally to Yellowfin on the same server or remotely on some other server that you like. Now to enable H2O AI support, you will need to grab the plugin from the Yellowfin marketplace. Once you have it, you can simply go to plugin management and drop the plugin here. I already have the plugin over here so I can go ahead and use it, but otherwise simply download the file, drag and drop it into the page here and we'll load it into the platform. Now let's go to report and see this in action. So browsing to a report, a draft report that I have here, I'm gonna open that up. This is a simple report that you've seen in the PMML video from before. Uh, it contains all the data on employees and demographic data as well. And we're going to run the H2 model over this data set today. In my Yellowfin report, I'm going to run the H2 AI model directly in Yellowfin via advanced functions. If you don't know what advanced functions are, they are post query processing that can be run over single or multiple columns in memory and have the output replace current column values as well. So opening up the advanced functions window here, if you've dropped a plugin into your platform, you will have access to H2O predictions. And clicking on that, 
it will then expect the location of your HTO AI server. Let's swap over to my other browser tab here to have a look at the HTO AI server that's running in the background with the Flow UI. It's a web-based UI from H2O that enables data scientists to not only train and build models, but to also see it and tune it in real time. So what I've done here is I've simply imported a file, a training data, um, which then enables H2O flow here to pass it, you can see all the columns, and allows me to then proceed to build the model that I want. So I have access to deep learning, to GBMs, to linear modeling, k-means, xgboost, Today's example will simply use k-means. So I'll choose k-means over here. I'll choose the training frame. And I'll ignore most columns except for hours and gender. I'll also ask it to have four clusters and I'll simply build the model now. So HTO then goes ahead and builds a model. I can view it and really tune it if I wanted to. I can see a summary of the model. I can see the training metrics. I can also see uh, all the validation and statistics here as well. And really you can tune in real time and do as much as you like over here. Swapping back to Yellowfin over here now, I'm simply gonna tell Yellowfin where my HTO server is, which is in the same laptop at 54321. I'm gonna connect to it. The, the, the k-means model that I've just built is now available for choosing and I'm going to load it and then feed the columns into the model. So over here is a very simple case of feeding age, income and gender. Okay, and I'm going to save it. And what's going to happen now is going to then pass this data set over to H2O. H2O is going to run the k-means clustering over it and then return me the data set that I need. And return me the predictions and cluster values. I can go ahead and chart this and visualize the clusters as I like. So you can see now, it, so you can see it's now run in real time over my production data set and given me the cluster values. And here I can visualize the clusters in my chart. If you like, you can go ahead and put this on a report canvas and later on on a dashboard as well. In conclusion, what you're really seeing here is an amazing integration by bringing API-based data science capabilities straight into Yellowfin.